Hello students, this is your Bhushan sir. Hope all of you are fine and safe at home during this pandemic time. Take care of your health. Well, today we are going to understand a part of economic zoology under non-car data part 1 that is economic importance of leech. So the objective of today's session is to understand the economic importance of leech. So the content also includes the economic importance of leech. So as we all know, leeches are aquatic worms that belongs to phylum Annelida. They have a flattened body which will have two tapering ends with the circular flattened discs attached on both the ends. They are generally ectoparasites on the vertebrate animals because they feed on the blood of these vertebrate animals. Hence, they are called as sanguivorous. Sanguivorous refers to blood feeders. It generally present in the water and in damp or moist soil. When it is present in the water, it swims vertically with the undulating motions, which otherwise refers to first fastening and stretching out and later contracting their body in the water. So towards the upper side of the slide and right side, you have that undulating movement of the leech in the water. When they are present on the land, they start either crawling or it shows a kind of again undulating movement on the um, damp soil also. It helps, uh, it takes the help of the posterior sucker or the posterior circular sucker that is attached to the body. Leeches have two types of suckers. They include the anterior or upper sucker and posterior or lower sucker. Students remember anterior sucker helps in feeding that is drawing up of the blood from the vertebrate animals and posterior sucker helps in attachment of the body of uh, the leech onto the vertebrate animal and also helps in the locomotion. So attachment of the animal and the locomotion is assisted by the posterior sucker, whereas anterior sucker involves in the feeding process. Down in the diagram you can see towards left side the first diagram is um, the leech showing the digestive system which is very peculiar and specific only to the leech itself. When you look at the digestive system of the animal, it consists of the mouth at the anterior end and this mouth is surrounded by three number of jaws. Each of the jaws is pro provided with a series of dentine, I mean to say hard, teeth-like structures which helps in causing the puncturing of the body or the skin of vertebrate animal on which it is going to feed the blood. And that blood enters into the pharynx, then into the special structures present called as crops. There are 10 pairs of crops present in the digestive system of these leeches, which will fill in the blood and the blood is later utilized as the uh, uh, food by the animal with the help of the microbial 
uh, organisms. It will digest this blood, draws the nutrition out of it. Students, that is the importance of the digestive system of the animal that is seen in the first left diagram of the uh, slide. Whereas the central diagram, you find the anterior part of the body which is enlarged, showing three jaws present inside the, um, the mouth region. Towards the left side, you can find the leech showing two um, ends, that is anterior end sucking the blood and posterior sucker helping the animal to bind to the uh, animal of vertebrate organism on which it is going to draw the blood, nothing but the host animal. The anterior sucker, as we were discussing, it asses in, it helps in sucking the blood by using three jaws which will have the sharp teeth over it that you can find here in the uh, diagram down to its left side. The circular mouth opening leads into the three jaws there, so which is uh, arranged in inverted Y-shaped mark. So those white colored structures that you find of three uh, inverted Y-shaped uh, mark is nothing but the jaws. And these jaws are provided with the small teeth that you can see towards the right side of the uh, slide, the diagram showing smaller teeth. And you find each jaw showing nearly 100 teeth on it and thereby three jaws together indicates 300 teeth present overall for the animal in all the three jaws. And when it uh, uh, punctures the host animal, it leaves a Y-shaped mark that you can see down towards the left side. So Y-shaped mark on the skin is seen there. So this is about the importance of the anterior sucker of the body. These leeches live a very long uh, uh, period of 18 to 27 years if the environment shows suitable conditions. And their life is influenced by the temperature. Students remember these leeches are said to be poikiloderms, mean to say um, they live in any environment even with the wide range of temperature variation. Otherwise, when the temperature shows any change in the outer environment, according to that temperature, the body temperature of the animal is also modified. So to equate the temperature or to stabilize the temperature, equal to that of the outer environment. So this kind of uh, organisms which will change their body temperature according to the outer or external environment is called as pyclotherms. So leeches are pyclotherms. But this range is seen between 0 degree centigrade to uh, 30 degree centigrade. That is all. If this range of temperature is beyond 30 degree, centigrades, then that will cause the death of this organism. There it cannot have the, um, the pyclodermy action. Instead, they build up stress within and they show ultimately the death. So that's the importance of the life of the organism. Leeches generally respire through their body surface by absorbing the dissolved oxygen present in the water or even by absorbing the atmospheric oxygen that is present in the air. So this kind of respiration through which um, um, the body phase will absorb the oxygen is called as cutaneous respiration. They lack the lungs, so lungs are absent totally in these animals. There are more than 700 species of leeches are identified and out of 700 species of leeches, 15 species of leeches are used uh, in the medical field for various purposes. So once such species 
which is widely used in the medical field is Hirudo medicinalis. So this is one species of leech which is widely used in the um, medical field. The diagram that you can see down in the slide towards the right side. The leeches ingest blood of animals. Uh, and the blood after it intakes, it will gain 10 times weight than their original body weight. Once if it feeds on the blood, it can sustain without having further feed for about a year. Otherwise, once if it holds the vertebrate host, draws the blood, the drawing of blood is sufficient for the animal for one year. So again, till one year it will not feed. Okay, so that's the importance of the uh, digestive system that the animal has. And it takes around 40 minutes of time to suck around 10 to 15 ml of blood per sucking. And uh, the ingested blood is digested by the animal with the, by using enzymes and uh, certain of mutual microorganisms such as uh, aerom uh, aeromonas hydrophila and pseudomonas hirudinia. So these two microorganisms helps the animal to digest the blood within their digestive tract that is crop. Now, coming on to the actual topic that we are going to understand today is the economic importance of leech or use of leech. Leech is used for therapeutic, of, uh, impo I mean, therapeutic uh, purposes in the medical field. So therapeutic importance or medicinal importance of leech when we look at, it dates back to 1300 BC. Um, it was used by Egyptians in the ancient days and later by Greek physician by name Galen um, for the purpose of bloodletting. Generally, when a wound is caused, there occurs if any damage on the body uh, uh, is seen, the blood oozes out, but it will be present within the uh, 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 wound itself and it gives the swelling. So such a swelling will have the blood which is totally uh, impure. Otherwise, it is a septic uh, fluid matter. So this septic fluid matter that gets accumulated in the wound is let out by using the uh, leeches. So that is called as blood letting process. So for this particular purpose, the leeches were used in the ancient days. The same process is practically allowed even in uh, different medical fields of the present world. Um, it is to clean the clotted blood in the tongue or in the gangrene wounds of the uh, diabetic patients. So before their uh, legs are amputated are taken out, um, uh, the leeches are left there to uh, uh, suck all the um, uh, septic fluid matter and the blood present. So that's the importance of leeches and their usage even in present days. So down in the picture, one towards the left side, the other one towards the right side, you can find how leeches are used to remove the uh, clotted blood and uh, uh, septic fluid that accumulates in the uh, organs. Students here, the leeches are widely used in the medicine, um, medical field for drawing up of blood from the swollen areas and also to reduce the fluid pressure in the damaged tissue of animals. So when the uh, fluid is removed out by puncturing the um, uh, arteries 
or blood vessels. You call this process as phlebotomy. So phlebotomy refers to damaging, causing damage to the tissue by the leech and we suck the blood out or we suck the fluid out from the swollen area by puncturing the arteries there. And this phenomenon we call it as phlebotomy. So leeches are widely used in the field of phlebotomy. This is called as leech therapy because leeches are used in the process. Even in the use of the syringes, the syringe needles where we can pierce the syringe needle and draw the blood, that is also phlebotomy. But here leeches are used for the process of phlebotomy, hence it is called as leech therapy. The most common indication of leech therapy includes the following important diseases, where one common symptom should be the inflammation, a swelling. It could be swelling of the hip, swelling of the elbow, dysplasia, uh, that is affected swollen parts, then uh, diseases of tendons, ligaments, fascia, the thin cover of connective tissue of organ, the disease of vertebrae, that is the bone parts, and the treatment of the scars. So all these fields, we make use of uh, leech therapy. The technique used or the procedure that to be followed in leech therapy um, includes the following important steps. The technique and procedure of leech application on body parts of phlebotomy, uh, for phlebotomy, uh, includes the following important steps. Before the actual application of the leech, the skin of the infected vertebrate should be prepared by shaving the dense, uh, uh, densely hair site. So the hairs which are present on the skin, if it is very dense, that area should be cleaned, it should be uh, shaved. So hair free area, it should be made. And it is to stimulate and soften the skin um, uh, for the attachment of the, what to say, the leech here. Then, after you shave the hair, the area need to be softened by using the hot sponge or the hot water. If you are using hot water, the water should be free from that of the chlorine because leeches hates uh, it doesn't like the odorous or the, uh, uh, the smell of chlorine. So chlorine free water should be used if at all we are uh, using the hot water there. And these steps helps the leech to feed more quickly on the blood of the site where we attach them. So that's the importance. First here, the uh, skin should be shaved to remove the dense hair and it should be softened by using the um, hot sponge or even hot water. Now, the next step is wetting of the skin. This process is achieved by um, using the water again. Why we need to wet the skin here? It is to make the easier attachment of leech to the body of the animals here. Then, um, during either shaving or wetting of the skin, the antiseptic should not be used. Just now we have understood that leeches doesn't like any odor. So if antiseptics are used, they are very sensitive to the strong odors or the smell and leech may not bite or leech may not uh, um, uh, attach to the body part there. So after the Application site is prepared now by the process of shaving of hair and wetting of the skin. Now the medicinal leech that we select is attached, made to attach the wound there. So number of leeches uh, for the wound attachment um, or wound clearing, it depends on the species of the leech that we select, size of the leech that we select, and also the size of the wound that to be cleaned. So based on the size of the wound, number of 
um, leeches can be increased. One leech, for example, one leech is applied uh, for 10 kg of body mass of animals. So if you want to clean 10 kg body mass of animal, one leech is enough. The leeches are carried to the site where it needs to be applied, either by hand or by using syringes, and then applied onto the wound site. Until the leech attaches to the wound, it should be carried uh, uh, with the hand. That is, till the initial bite, that Y-shaped mark is created by the animal, it should be held in the hand. Otherwise, what happens is that the organism may not um, uh, attach to the site where the wound needs to be cleaned. So that's the importance. Usually, the first, uh, uh, what to say, bite what it causes, it is painless. And it is because it ha it, uh, the animal through its saliva produces anesthetic compound there. So it throws out along with the saliva some anesthetic compound and thereby that particular uh, pain of the bite of organism is totally not felt by the vertebrate animal or the host. So the attachment period is generally between 20 to 45 minutes as we have understood earlier. And uh, if the lead starts sucking the blood, it will suck around 5 to 15 ml of blood per sucking. So after the attachment, the leech is released and the leech now will throw out the saliva with the bioactive compounds um, uh, that facilitates the easy flow of blood there, okay, into its digestive tract. <coughs> Excuse me. Here, during the phase of sucking the blood, when the animal sucks the blood, it throws out two important bioactive compounds. There are 101 biotic compounds that are thrown along with saliva into the uh, a site of incision, uh, 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 that is site of damage where um, it is causing the, uh, it, where it causes on the vertebrate animal or the host animal. Here what it does is, out of this 101 bioactive compounds, two compounds plays a very, very vital role. The first chemical is herodin. Herodin is a chemical which inhibits blood coagulation. So it acts as, uh, what to say, uh, anticoagulant. So blood clotting is not facilitated. So hence, herodin is secreted there. The second one is, it produces histamine-like compounds that will prevent the collapse of the adjacent <coughs> excuse me, capillaries. So histamine compounds will reduce the uh, collapse of adjacent capillaries and herodin compound helps in the um, anticoagulation process. Thereby, the blood becomes very thin and easily oozing out and that blood is sucked by the organism. So this is called as sangue suction, referring to the process of sucking of the blood from the host animal. Here in case of leech therapy, herodomedicinalis is a species of leech that we make use, which is secretes herodin. As we have understood, it prevents the coagulation. And this herodin contains 65 amino acid peptides showing anti-thrombokinase activity. I mean to say, it will stop the activity of thrombokinase that brings in coagulation of blood. So it will play a role against this enzyme. And down you have the chemical structure of this herodin compound. So what you are supposed to understand here is, Herodin is a major chemical secreted by the leech through its saliva to stop the coagulation of blood. If blood gets coagulated, it cannot suck because blood becomes thick there. 
So to facilitate the fluidity for the blood, the anticoagulation process is brought about by using herodine. Then, along with herodine, herostasin is also secreted by the leech, which will prevent the platelet aggregation. So generally during clotting process, platelets get aggregated. So that is stopped by herostasin. Then, there is also synthesis of one more chemical called histamine-like chemical compound, which causes vasodilation. What is vasodilation? Down in the picture, when you look at, it is referring to two blood vessels. Towards the left side, the blood vessel is of normal size. Towards the right side, the lumen, the cavity of the blood vessel is enlarged due to the activity of the histamine-like compounds. And this is called vasodilation which refers to enlargement of blood, I'm sorry, blood vessels. Thereby, the inflow of blood becomes very fast. Then, there is also an uh, anesthetic compound is synthesized, which we call it as theromyzone. So, theromyzone helps in anti, I'm sorry, anesthetic condition. Histamine-like compounds helps in vasodilation. Then, herostasin helps in uh, inhibition of platelet aggregation, herodin helps in the anticoagulation process. All this process will make the easy absorption or sucking of the blood from the vertebrate animal into the body of the leech. Medicinal leeches are used to stimulate the flow of blood at post-operative surgical sites. So after the surgical uh, 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 surgery is done, the surgical sites may have the blood clots. So such blood is removed by using the uh, leeches here. So after attaching the uh, leeches to the site, they secrete the compounds as we have understood all these chemicals such as herodine, histamine-like compounds, etc. and brings in the cleaning of those particular areas. Then, the leeches are also used in the treatment of osteoarthritis. Arthritis refers to swelling of the bones, or giving, which gives the pain, uh, which is very ridiculous. But when the leeches are, I mean, down in the picture, when you look at, so, uh, one knee is normal, the other knee is swollen. Such a swollen areas of the knees are provided with a collection of fluid, which is not required by the individual. So, such fluid is removed, and to reduce the pain, we make use of this leech on leech therapy. Similarly, the leech therapy or herodotherapy is also used uh, in the veterinary medicine or vet veterinary medical field. Same um, in the treatment of the swollen areas of uh, the joints and uh, septemia due to blood clotting which we call it as venous congestion and also to treat polycythemia where Excess of formation of RBCs are seen. It's a variety, of, I mean, it's a, a type of cancer. So, such a fluid matter which gets accumulated is removed by using the leeches there. There are, uh, there are many species of leeches, as we have understood, around 15 species of leeches are used in the medicinal uh, 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 field, and Hirudo medicinalis is widely used to species along with the rest that is noted here. Now, the negative effects of leech therapy is, leech therapy is not recommended if the individuals are suffering from the infections and uh, infectious diseases and even anemic individuals, hemophilic individuals, and if the disease is this immunosuppressive disease, or sometimes the cancer of skin, or the individual who suffer from hypertension, high BP, pregnant organisms, 
So such individuals are not recommended for this leech therapy. And as we know, the next uh, negative effect is leeches when they consume around 10 to, I'm sorry, 5 to 15 ml of blood and in few cases of 50 ml of blood, 200 ml of blood, it can drop. After it draws up the blood, students remember there is passive bleeding after the detachment of the animal. Even after the animal moves out of the site, detaches from the site, there occurs bleeding further. And that can continue up till uh, uh, 72 hours. Or sometimes even uh, 5 hours in common. And this blood, what it oozes, it is not by the organism, but it is due to the bioactive compounds that is released into the body. So there is wastage of the normal blood also. It not only removes the septemic uh, fluid or the blood, but also removes the um, normal blood from the body system. Then, and it is not used uh, um, uh, in the infectious uh, uh, diseases because these organisms of leeches, since they throw out the saliva into the host animal uh, by secreting the bioactive compounds, they can even throw the infectious microorganisms uh, such as uh, Klebsiella, Pseudomonas, etc., which are infectious organisms, which will cause some diseases and disorders. So, along with the saliva, it can even throw out these microorganisms from the infected persons to the non-infected person. So, this is about another negative effect related to the leech therapy. So, this is about the economic importance of um, leeches. Students, now let us look into the MCQ questions. Um, the first question is, which anilidan animal feeds on vertebrate blood? Of this group, it is the leech, answer is B. Second question, in leech, dash anticoagulant are present. And of the four answers, hirudin is the chemical which causes anticoagulation. So answer is A. Question three is, leech is carnivorous, sanguivorous, ectoparasite, and D option is both B and C, that is sanguivorous as well as ectoparasite. So answer is D because it is sanguivorous and ectoparasite. Students, the leech, in leech therapy, sanguivorous ectoparasites are used, but there are also leeches which are said to be carnivorous. Understand that, but since we are studying the leech and the leech therapy, so leeches that are used in leech therapy can be ectoparasites and sanguivores. So remember that. So answer is D. Fourth question, sectorial mouth occurs in. So sectorial mouth refers to anterior sucker, which is modified with the three jaws. So it is present in C, that is leech. Question 5. Phlebotomy means capillaries, veins, arteries, or blood drawing by puncturing the blood vessels. So the process of phlebotomy refers to blood drawing by puncturing the blood vessels. Answer is D. Question 6. The sucker that helps in locomotion and attachment. So we have two suckers in the leech, whether it is anterior or posterior. Answer is B, posterior. Well, students, what is the outcome of today's session? We have understood the economic importance of leech, how leech is used in different fields um, of medicine to treat the wounds, both, in the, uh, both on the human organisms as well as on the uh, veterinary organisms, that is animals. So references of today's uh, section includes uh, um, web references of Wikipedia and Britannica, and book references 
uh, includes invertebrate zoology by P. S. Verma, Verma and Agarwal, and modern textbook zoology by Kotpal. Students, if you have any queries or comments, please post them to my personal WhatsApp number. Please do understand. I'm going to attach few more videos along with this. Um, uh, other videos along with this particular um, uh, session. So watch them. If you have any doubts, please uh, post them to my WhatsApp. Thank you all. Wish you all a very good day.